So, I, I wanted to start out a little different this time. I teach creative writing at the Juvenile Detention Center. Uh, I, I'm pretty active in the community in Lafayette. Besides teaching at the detention center, the Juvenile Detention Center, I'm a student at UL. And I have my own event called Lyrically Inclined, and I'm involved with Festival Words and anything Jonathan wants me to do. So, I've been working with the students at the Juvenile Detention Center on creative writing. This poem is called Eyes of the Sun. I workshop with them, I teach them poetic devices, and I drill them. I have them come up with, we call them their dopest lines, you know, their best lines. And I take the lines and compile them into one poem. And so this, this is um, part of the poem Eyes of the Sun, and it's been, it's roughly 20, 25 students that have come through the detention center since we started. Amazing. You know, we have these students that are incarcerated for some serious, heinous crimes, but they love poetry, and they want to they be good at this. When I hear click clack, I think about my life. I'm hungry as a pit bull, and money is like food. You never know how much you're going to get. And I've been stressing so much, I don't know what to do. What can I do? What should I do? Locked up like a caged wild animal. Aggressive as a volcano, I used to be in poverty. Now people just think I'm infamous. But my future is true and as bright as light. I gotta get my, my education. Gotta get control. Can't let my anger get the best of me, but stress runs through my veins. And I hear fear in the waves of the ocean. I was on a mission from God, but I guess I failed. Stuck in my cell with accumulated thoughts, thinking about my next meal. Sometimes I wonder who really understands me. And I get in trouble when I'm mad. They say that I'm insane because I'm walking through the rain, but you gotta walk through the rain to be cleansed of the pain. And sometimes I wonder who's gonna take that time with me. My dad was never there to watch my first fall. I know I come from a bad subdivision, a lot of pain and evil thoughts. But this life is not a game. It's a blessing. And ambition is the road to greatness. I'm striving for greatness. Success is a rock that can never be broken. And learning is freedom. I gotta make it to college. People quit on me, but faith keeps me rolling. So that's where we start. So you like you so um, you know these are the students that I work with, and it's very hard, you know, because I'm a mentor and they ask questions and I have to answer those questions and I don't always know what to say. I don't always know what to say, and I it's hard to keep my composure, you know, because I get so angry because I want to fix it but I can't. You know, I can only give you my spiritual blessings, you know, and dispatch some angels to lift you up emotionally. I, they're, they're really, really talented young men. One of them, um, I, I lost one of my students the other day. Well, I mean, he's okay, but they moved him to another facility because he was too old, you know, and 17 year old, years old, about to turn 18, he did a million dollar heist, and he tried to sell some of what he stole, and they tried to rob him, and things got really, really violent. And he did a lot of bad things. He's not going to be out maybe till he's thirty, you know. But it's like this is my brightest student that asked me about Sigmund Freud, and I brought him the interpretation of dreams. And you know, as I come every Friday, he started asking me questions. I brought him a dictionary too, so he bring up what he learned into the classroom. And it's like, but you're here. You shouldn't be here. If only you had someone to teach you different. Um, this next poem, and then I'll get into my own work, <laughs> is by one of my female students. It's not titled yet. She wrote this probably in, in, in literally 30 minutes. <laughs> Mothers fear for their lives. They say that you were a mistake all year. I hate every word. Every smile, I fake smile back. Love in her eyes, but hate in my heart. I dream of telling her how much I hated her. She opened my cage and let me free. But I am only 15. I'm a child. I hate the life I live. Cutting at my body does not hurt anymore. My eyes, my veins, 
My heart beats slowly, but in my mind, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. No one to love me, but life has to go on. I ask the Lord to kill me now. I don't want to deal with the pain, but foster care has my back. No matter how much it hurts, I run away to people that say they love me, but I always get caught. Stealing cars is all I know. Looking for the mother, looking for the woman that birthed me. She is nowhere to be found. A warrant for her arrest. I hate to see you go. Afraid for my life. I don't know if she's really gone. I scream out in my head, she don't love me. Why does hate feel like this? Why should I feel like this? Why should I care? No one loves me. I am a shadow of death. And my birthday is coming. So I am wishing for my mother to be like a candle burning for the 10th month. Lord, please take my soul. Let me go. I see a dove by my window. Her wings turn black. I know what it means. I cry out, Mama. But all I hear is an echo of life. I am crying to the world.